Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> Today is a pretty interesting video. Uh, first off, I want to thank all of you tremendously because you guys are coming around my videos a lot more often now. And of course, thank you guys so much for all of your support. I also did notice that you can actually, on my page of YouTube, you can hit the little bell. You can hit it and you can get a notification every single time that I post a video. Because I know some of you actually message me on Instagram and are always like, Hey, let me know when your video is up because I really want to watch it and I get really excited whenever you upload videos so you can hit that bell button and it will tell you when I upload a video and I wrote down some things last night on my phone on my notes of ideas and I asked Ernest to help me he was in no help at all like he was not like he knows what I want to do after the baby arrives and <clears throat> I stay home and all that stuff but he doesn't like he doesn't know what I want to do additional to that. So I wrote down a little bit of things that I thought about. So we will go ahead and get started. The first one is uh, working out. Like after I have this baby, I am ready to bounce back to working out. Uh, even if I have to walk her in the stroller, uh, even if I have to go for, even if I have to go walk, walk throughout the day, whatever it has to be. Um, even if I have to work out inside the house, of course, I'm not planning on going to any gym, uh, in a while. Um, I'm not a gym person. I actually worked out a lot before I got pregnant. My workouts were basically at home, uh, in the garage. I have a lot of weights. I have a lot of, um, I have, I have other things that, that are really good to work out at home. And... I am just ready to bounce back to that because I, before I got pregnant, I was just, you know, I was really like in like working out, working out, working out. And it's funny because before, before I got pregnant, I was like, watch, I'm working out now and I'm going to get pregnant. And that's exactly how I was. I got pregnant with the first, went through that whole month with all like my body changing. And it was crazy. That whole month that I, that I lost the first pregnancy, I gained so much weight and my body was just, you know, your hormones go crazy. They're trying to get back in place. Like you just got pregnant and you lost it. And then now your body's like, what happened here? After that, I got pregnant again. And then the, all the hormones started like started up again. But I feel like for all of that happening, I haven't gained too too much weight so yeah definitely going back to working out for sure uh the next one is a job so this is a really really big one for me because i've always 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 wanted to be a stay at home mom always it is pouring outside you guys it's pouring <sighs> and i have to go to work in like in like 30 minutes going back to work i've always wanted to be a stay-at-home mom just so that i can watch my kids so that i can raise them right not raise them right but so that i can raise them so that i get to have that chance of raising my kids uh seeing every every little move that they do every little you know journey that they go through everything that they learn i want to be there with them i currently work my 30 something hours so i will for sure not be able to do that once i have the baby once i have the baby because i'm not i'm not gonna do that so will i be going back to work uh i actually requested maternity leave for 12 weeks uh it depends because that's still in the process we will see if they will even give it to me and also um if when the baby is like around three months and i'm done with my maternity leave i will be going back to work if nothing else changes i will be going back to work but only for two full days uh and again that's talking like hopefully they can give me that schedule every other day i will be with her uh and for those two full days uh one of the ones that i wanted to talk about on here is daycare no she will not be going to daycare uh i will not put her in daycare i refuse to put her in daycare uh it's not something that i that i that i have 
that my parents did for me when I was little like they looked for uh, like a like a neighbor or something like that to take care of me that we knew really well but never daycare because daycare I just have like something against daycare um so she'll probably of course she'll be staying with her grandma or her her aunt and things like that they'll be like you know switching from here to there um and then i'll be done like the latest i'll be done with work is 8 p.m so it's not like 11 p.m how i finish now which will be dreadful but yes for job i will be going back after my maternity leave is done but for only two full days and again hopefully if god permits i can get that two full days and and just be done another one that this is like my favorite one this is my favorite one i want to talk about is youtube as you can see i have came back around youtube and my plan is for those two days that i'll be working uh at my job the rest of the days to work it as a stay-at-home mom youtube you know do youtube more upload more videos get more memories with the baby and all of that which that will of course with all of you guys' support and supporting my channel that will grow a little bit more uh those are my plans for youtube but i've always done youtube as a hobby like i'm not under any pressure you do what you want to do you upload as many videos as you want to upload if there isn't a limit it's just it's just being you so it i love doing youtube it means so much to me because you're being a stay-at-home mom you're trying to make a living and i don't know I just get to be myself and it's awesome because when someone asks you how does it feel to be yourself I'm pretty sure that you're going to respond it feels awesome it feels great and that is how that is how I feel I have one big thing and one big thing only I always want to be myself I never want to be under something or someone that has me under pressure and with YouTube I just feel like this is my life. This is what I do. If you if some of you do not like what I post or or what I or certain things that I say at the end of the day that's just that's just a personal problem. Like it's a personal preference, you, you know? It it's it's what I do. It's myself. It's it's what I want to do. You can't a lot of people will judge that a lot of people will judge that especially on youtube but you just got to move on from that you need to build a really strong skin because at the end of the day they don't do this with you you do this you get in front of this camera like i'm doing right now and you love it you love doing it let other people judge let other people judge this is what i love doing there are some things that i want to do to the house and i've been wanting to do them but it's just with like when we first moved into the house we were going through the miscarriage uh we were just going through a lot of stuff and we were trying to get everything like the house painted the rooms painted the furniture like this was our first home so we were trying to get like the couches the things that we need to buy for the kitchen everything so we haven't been able to really like you know i have plans what i want to do for the house and of course i talk about this with ernest about what i want to do for the house so this master bathroom i am devastated with i hate the master bathroom i i shower in there because because i gotta shower in there but i hate it it's so like it's so old and it needs it needs to be renewed so that is definitely one thing that i want to do i want to get new cabinets like a a sink uh the shower i want to do completely new um i don't even care if we don't get like sliding doors for the shower if we just do like the normal curtains i do not care i just want it to be renewed and that is one of the plans that i already spoke to ernest about because i one of the one of the things that i hate the most about this house is that bathroom uh another thing i want to start is a garden uh 
gardens are just so pretty and the flowers and seeing everything bloom and i wanted to start a garden at the uh, at the beginning of when we first moved here but i just i just never did i don't go outside a lot because the situation with these dogs is that if i build a garden back there we need to do something where they will not like lay on the on the dirt when it's when it's when we just like you know poured water over the plants because they you know they're outside and it gets so hot here in florida that they look for areas to lay in that are cold so ernest told me that we need to like if we're gonna do like a like maybe like an herb garden outside we need to look for something to cover that area so they don't lay on top of the dirt because then the herbs are just gonna and then in the front, of course, in the front I can really do whatever I want. Um, we just need to get really good dirt for the front. And let me see if I see a picture of what I want to do for the front. It's really, really nice. But this is something that I have been wanting to do. And it's just, it's really cute. Something like that. Something like this by the windows would be so pretty. They call in in, in Spanish. They call them the um, flores de papel because they're just really, um, but the name of them is Bo Bougainvillea. I believe that's how you say it, but look how pretty that is. We had one here at the house in the corner of the house and we ended up cutting it because it was just there like in the wrong place. Uh, Ernest ended up cutting it. He promised me he was going to give me another one and I have not seen any Bougainvillea around here. Um, one of the last things I wanted to talk to you guys about has uh, been something that we spoke, me and Ernest spoke about in the beginning, but we just, we haven't talked about it ever again. Um, a new car or if we're going to stay with my car and Ernest's truck. Of course, we're going to stay with Ernest's truck. Like he will never get rid of that thing. Um, but for my car, um, my car has a lot of the baby's stroller will fit in the back. The baby's car seat will fit fine. Um, I know that I know that a lot of things will fit in that car perfectly fine so for now we're gonna go ahead and stay with that car we're not going to um we're not going to get a lease on any car because i currently am not on a lease thank god and that is a tremendous help i'm not on a lease i'm not trying to get on a lease just yet um maybe later on whenever we do have another child and the family starts to get bigger then we'll consider into getting a bigger car for myself but for right now uh since the baby is so close to you know getting here um i want to keep the same car just because i'm not ready to get on a lease just yet and the car the car is just is just fine for now for now unless something happens god forbid something happens to the car but let's just hope that doesn't happen but yes the car is fine for now so um let me show you guys something i posted something on instagram and you guys have not even asked one single question um i posted a picture uh i really really want to do a q a and i posted a picture on instagram of myself um why is my internet taking so long so it's this one and uh i actually put down if you haven't read the caption the caption does state i would really like to upload a q a please ask your questions on the comments below i will be answering them in a q a video going up on monday that means that i will i will get all of your questions this sunday film the video with the q a and upload it on monday but none of you have asked any questions and I, this video will be up before before the picture even you know gets done but please ask questions ask questions on the comments below and I would be so happy to answer them because I really want to do a video on what you guys want to know about me about really anything um, so that is so that is about it guys uh, thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this uh, plans after baby is just the real life uh but i will see you guys in my next video bye i go anywhere anywhere with you cause you feel my